everyone. Hope you're all doing well. In today's music class, I thought we would do a little cup drumming. So you're going to need some materials. So you'll first need a plastic cup. I have this red Solo cup. I've got a good stack of them at home, so I'm going to use these. Um, I also have at home some just plastic drinking cups. So if you have any plastic drinking cups that mom or dad or Grammy or Grampy says that you can use, then we are all set. So choose one or the other and then um, we can play some music. So if you want to pause me and go look for some material, go ahead. So now that you're back, we are going to talk about rhythm. So last time I had some plates and I put some oranges in them to talk about quarter notes and the beats. Well today there's only two types of notes we're going to use. We're going to use quarter notes. So a quarter note is just a circle that's all colored in and it has a stem on it. And I hope that that doesn't look backwards, which is good. I'm always scared that it's going to be backwards. So a quarter note gets one beat. And if you notice, we count, we have one, two, three, four, and then we have another four. One, two, three, four. And the line in the middle is called the measure line. And in music, just so musicians can read things better and group them better, we like to group things together. And we can group them um, in many different ways. A lot of times we have something called a time signature, and that tells us how many beats are in a measure. Well, for today, our time signature is four over four, which is four beats, and the quarter note gets the beat. So we have four beats. One, two, three, four. And then we have four more. One, two, three, four. That's going to be our first pattern. Um, I've got it written in in blue, if you can see it. I'm, I know it's a little bit shiny, but hopefully you can see it. Here's how we're going to play that pattern. We're going to keep the beat. I'm just going to move this back a little bit. And we're going to do this. We're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to play that pattern seven times, I think. Um, and I'm going to write it with my blue. There's something musicians follow. Um, we read music and we follow the signs. And at the end of this, I'm going to put a double line. Let's see if I can pull it up here. I'm going to put a double line like this with two circles here. And that's a repeat sign. So that means we got to go all the way back to the beginning. And I'm going to draw another line here with two circles. And that means to repeat. So we'll play our pattern one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we'll repeat it. Second time, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then we're going to repeat it. So that's the third time. And we do that until we've done it seven times. Then we're going to move on to the next pattern I have in green. So we'll call it the green pattern, or you could call it pattern two. It doesn't matter. Um, this pattern two is a little different. We have, I don't know if you can see it, because I can see the glare. If I can hold it up closer. Oh, there, you can see it now. Um, pattern two is four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And then a whole note, and it's not colored in. So it gets four beats. So you only have to play it once and you hold it for four. Now how can you hold something on a cup? Well, I'm going to show you. I'll pull this back here. I have spare cups laying around in case I break one, which happens. One, two, three, four. 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 So I'm going to do that eight times on that pattern. So you've got that. I know you're probably thinking, well, why are we going to do eight? Just a moment, you'll find out. And then the last pattern we have is in red. And the last pattern, if you look at it, is exactly the same as the first pattern in blue. But we're going to play it differently on our cup. So it's a little tricky, but it's going to go like this. We're going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do that 12 times. It's okay if you lose count because I lose count, but you've got me, I'll, I'll tell you when to move on to the next pattern, the blue or red. But I thought we would just use the song, Can't Stop the Feeling. I love that song. So I've asked Jaden and Jillian to join me, so um, we'll see you in a minute. All right, so the first pattern, just to review before we start, the blue pattern is one, two, three, four, one, two, so that's how you keep the beat, is one, two, three, four, those are your quarter notes. The second pattern 
pattern, the green pattern, you can mirror me. You're going to go right, left, right, left, drag, two, three, four. So let's try it together. Ready? Go. Right, left, right, left, drag, two, three, four. That's it, you've got it. Um, we're going to show you something really fun with that in just a moment. And then the last pattern, which is just like the first pattern, only we're going to do it differently. We're going to go um, left, right, I guess. Left, right, center, tap. Left, right, center, tap. Left, right, center, tap. Left, right, center, tap. Yeah, it goes? Yeah. Um, all right, so let's try it with the music. Here we go. we would be sitting in a circle and some of those parts where we have um, the slide for the whole note that's when we would slide it to the next person and so it's a little fun so I'm gonna ask Jaden to go in front and we're gonna show you if um, you want to ask mom or dad or a brother or sister to join you and you can make maybe a little family circle and uh, when you get to certain parts you slide so right now if we did the uh, left, right, left, right, slide, and then you do it again. Left, right, left, right, slide. Left, right, left, right, slide. Sometimes you might drop them, that's okay. Slide. And that's fun together as a family, too. So then you're passing. Oh, I hit Jillian. Oh, slide. And then 
Um, when we do the rhythm three, the very last time at the end of the song, you know how we're doing the, the tap and we're just keeping the beat? That can be, that would be a place when we had music class if we were in a circle. I would do you tap and pass, and then you reach for someone else's. So you go um, tap, pass, or pass, grab, pass, grab, pass, grab, pass, grab. And we would do that at the end for fun. And then we stop at the very end. So those are some little options if you want to get together with some uh, family members and do it all together as a family in a circle. It's really fun to do. Take care, you guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.